anyway, I wanted to show Fable this, the Caves of Quid. Caves of what? I don't know what it means either. So, uh, yeah, we're watching another Seth video, and hopefully Fable will maybe understand something. I don't. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell does being a private detective have anything to do with being homeless and looking for change. Apparently, I think that's part of the, uh, the story. I, I think that's a detective simulator where you're just a detective and for some reason you're dirt poor, to, poor as hell. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Have you ever dug too deep and found oh. something they don't want you to know? Oh, Sandy boy. Lowe, here we go again. She, and why can't I reach her? What? Have you ever fallen out with someone and restored your friendship using quantum entanglement to retroactively rewrite history and save mm. them from a car crash that never actually happened have you wait ever... how does that work if you rewrite history for a car are you just screwing with their head then wanted to skip a lifetime of formal education just by yes. cooking a banana and finally <laughs> have you ever had a fungal infection i like things using that, uh despite your best efforts won't go away no problem. i like things using devil may cry 4 for that Blum, just Cut it off. Then stab a syringe filled with anabolic growth hormones right into your chest. I sometimes wish that's how it worked. As you well know, mushrooms are a great source of protein. I just hope you're not picky about the origin of that protein. Everything said could be described as the raving of a paranoid schizophrenic. I mean, yeah, I honestly could be. And yes, I shrunk Fable because he was covering my face. And I'd uh, prefer if he wasn't. Oh, too bad. I need to cover all the faces. Oh, my face. No. Oh, we're going fine, Common. Hi. Hi, Common. Uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, kind of slow compared to yesterday. Yeah. It's a lot it's better a, compared to yesterday. It's been a very slow day for me as well. Oh, I just realized what this is. This is some kind of talk about... Amorheic Lage... Uh, about the... Sumerians? What? It isn't. It's an everyday occurrence in the Caves of Quod, which I'm not sure how to say. So I'm we'll not either. Use the acronym and so COC is like the oh. negligent supervisor to a kindergarten daycare. When the kids ask him if they can collectively mutilate oh, themselves what? in the sandbox, he doesn't say no. I do that. He says, "Give it a try. See what happens." Caves I think what he I think he what he means is it's one of those games where they give you no tutorial and just say, "Go off and do whatever you want." Are you going to horribly mutilate it? Possibly, but it's... But, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. Is he playing... Is, I know it's the Caves of Quid or whatever, but that sounds like Fear and Hunger. I still have not played that game, so we'll see about that. Yeah, if, you do, if you do and you stream it, I highly recommend you try to find a mod that covers all the NSFWs, though, because... Oh, I saw my friend playing the second one, and yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. Is still in development. Despite this, it's yeah, they, they made a mod. Someone made a fan fun. mod that fun, basically covers up all the I spent half a day stuff, with my so you're safe uh, if you want to find that. Apparently, he spent half his day with a... Like this. And I had to kill a man for his tattoo gun so I could drink the ink, pull the cord on a flashbang, and explode it into my open eyes. Why? Because in this game, that's how you cure monochromia. If... Basically, monochromia, for those who don't know, is where you can only see in black and white. And funny enough, I once had a teacher who had that. That's why I only realized that he had that when he was uh, looking at pieces of, like, colored paper. And he had to, like, look at the word on the side of it. To say that it was goldenrod was the color. You, you, you had a Mega Block CV site? That sounds cool, Tom. Yeah. But yeah, we're uh -huh. looking at things for pain and uh, suffering so or the extra edge to your enjoyment. To cure, uh, to cure that he had to flashbang himself? Yes. I... And also okay. drink the ink from from a guy's tattoo gun. <laughs> you're gonna have a great time. If you're asking yourself okay. right now, Seth, what, what the fuck am I looking at? It might not be your cup of tea. Oh yeah, we I also need to force fail to play football. They tampered my water supply, and ever since I started drinking from a public tap, I've been getting oh, more uh, and more of these androgynous I'm body pillows. I'm gonna be really mad at it. It's not gonna be fun <laughs> for anyone. And I gotta dress up as a coach and be like, You gotta eat thunder and crap lightning, Fable. I know that's from Rocky, don't crazy. judge me. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I thought we were playing football, not, not boxing. 
But yeah, uh, he's talking about, uh, apparently he has a bunch of femboy body pillows. I don't know why, but hey. Here, caves of could. I'm not gonna judge. Caves of could cock. Why? I don't know why he's showing pictures of games. cats. This is probably or, the only you know, game paintings you of cats. playing in the office and have your boss look at the screen and think, damn, my man's Excel spreadsheet looks fucked up. That's actually hilarious. No. It's not a very visual game, even though there are some nice because visuals <laughs> here and there. You're gonna have to use imagination. Because they think and it's a fucking can, express. Take my word for it that this random collection of pixels is actually a small farming Honestly, community. Honestly, so, it looks like in... Story I don't know point? what era game that would be, like early... Video games when they were know. being created. There used to be an advanced transhumanist civilization living on Quid, but they're not around anymore. Instead, oh. we got mutated everything from humans oh. to trees, from pigs to chimpanzees. Oh. Everything thinks, feels, and the plants talk behind your back. Welcome to Quid. They it's already do that for me, though. But hey, it's very colorful. To play this stupid game, you need to make a character for which oh. you've got two options mutant or true kin. What's Good the difference? One. Mutants are genetic freaks, and they randomly mutate their genome I had a feeling. level up, which includes, but not limited to, multiple heads, multiple feet, multiple hands, two hearts, paralyzing stingers, what? regrowing limbs, the ability okay. to fly, the ability to induce a brain aneurysm, oh, wow. spontaneous combustion, teleportation, oh. phasing through solid objects, and even uh. infinite nutrition from the sun, because oh, your they... skin is made of chlorophyll. That's so what I thought. What's Close the downside? Synthesis. You're a horrific abomination, and if uh. you encounter a certain holy inquisition of terrible oh, the Templars. race purists, they'll kill you on sight. Conversely, oh. true to the name, true kin are humans that haven't Oh my god, that they image. Get mutations. They get cybernetic augmentations. <laughs> These don't So basically cheap. you're becoming Adam Jensen. You first need to obtain an implant, whether by chance or by cutting the electronics out of a dead Templar. Oh. Then you need to find an autonomous upgrade terminal, which, upon detecting that you are indeed a pure-blooded human, refers to you yes. as aristocrat, aristocrat and allows you to install as many implants as you want, provided your body has space, oh. and provided you did not forget to upgrade your cybernetic software license, because even if a world is over, we mm. cannot forget the importance of arbitrary bureaucratic administration. Boy, do I hate it. And by God, you're going to follow strict uh. HR protocol to get your transhumanist upgrades. I mean... I would prefer not having to work that hard to get transhumanist upgrades, but I would never do it myself because I hate pain. And also, robotics replacing limbs kind of freaks me out a bit. Every Just a personal thing. Every cybernetic in your body runs a license cost. The total oh. cannot exceed the license, which you have to upgrade using cybernetic credits. These are exceptionally rare, and there's no easy way of finding them. And mm. rightly so, because cybernetics are absolutely ridiculous. Tired oh. of your tiny, feminine hands? Giant hands. <laughs> Just <of> giant hands. <laughs> Yowie hands. Not the yaoi hand. No, the yaoi hand. It's a not now. Oh god. It's I'm chambers. on board intravenous AI controlled injectors designed what? to pump you full of life saving chemicals depending on the situation oh. instantaneously. Do you want to fabricate narcotics in the middle of combat? Wait, you can what? Install fingers on top Ugh, of your fingers. I don't like looking at that. If you change your mind, you can swap them out for something else. However, oh. amputating your legs to replace them <laughs> with a set of motorized <laughs> tank treads is unfortunately an irreversible pro. I bet. I don't think. Uh. <laughs> I don't think I would like to replace my legs with treads. I kind of Process. like my legs. Personally, I recommend you play a mutant when starting out. There's not really any bad choices in character oh. creation. But realistically, don't get too attached to your first dozen. Once oh, you're this is one of those really hard games. Instead, and abuse the system so hard, you'll forget the original oh, what of this the game. Attributes are simple. I just saw that like line of text happen repeatedly over each other, and I was confused. Okay, ready, Fable? Yeah. Back into the breach. is even simpler, which is convenient because fighting is, it turn is the main way oh, to level up. Oh, it is You're turn-based. You're going to be doing a lot of fighting, and death is an ever-present reality, especially at lower levels. If I'm going to be very I just saw the word nuke go off, and I'm like, what? You will reach Red Rock for one of the <laughs> early quests and get stoned to death 
by a pack of bloodthirsty baboons. My Why? Get a gun. There's a lot of Wait, what? out there, but bullets don't discriminate. They only penetrate. This game. I mean, is I guess that's true. Judgment, and there's no telling what you're uh, going to encounter because nearly everything is randomly generated. Oh and wow! To your save file, the settlements, the cultures, the lore, the layouts of dungeons and dwellings across the world. That's a lot to generate all at once. I wouldn't call this a roguelike exactly because in most roguelikes you keep at least a bit of what you got at the end, right? So, huh. I'm not sure what to call this. And even the pharmacological treatment for different types of disease are built oh, completely wow. out of RNG. Amazing, uh... it actually works most of the time. The only things that stay the same are the location of unique settlements, the topography okay. of the map, and of course, the main quest line. Caves of Quid is quite unique That's in right. this regard, since most roguelikes don't have an. Oh, it is a roguelike store. then. I'm I'm just being stupid. It's currently unfinished, so consider it entirely optional. If you're looking well, to just force an Fable to play this game, because apparently it's on Steam. And possibly, probably, most what? likely, die in a. Because you must go out in the wasteland. You must face. You must touch grass. Process. If it makes you feel any better, Whoa. most players get to Golgotha, <laughs> and then they quit. In my case. Wait, Golgotha? Uh, isn't that the place where Jesus was killed? I'm not sure off the top of my head. I think that was the name of the place, but I could be incredibly doably wrong. I got the Golgotha, came back, and then I realized that wasn't the hard part. Oh. What did he what mean does that by say? Your throat is swelling. Your throat is sore and your tongue is swelling. What? Is there something giving him There's an allergic tongue. reaction? You're gonna have to experience that for yourself. Your tongue begins to bleed? What? I'm not joking when I say it's awful long time. this game has one of the steepest difficulty curves and one fatal mistake it's a deep could shell. end your entire playthrough. Or, you know, just hit Alt F4 and uh, never tell anyone. Let me tell you about mechanics. Mm. Firstly, overlay UI. Turn it on. I have no idea why it's not the default, but it's virtually unplayable without it. There's a lot of interesting monster okay. designs in this game. Interesting in their design to creatively... Oh, dismember your... arm, dismember face. Oh. Life expectancy. Most common cause of death. A brick wall. Because for uh. some reason reason mimics are level 25 and still generate where they shouldn't that oh dear god programming just like choosing unity to be the basis of your sandbox rope that uh, that comment aged even worse than it does now because you know everyone knows what unity did or at least the ceo of unity we don't talk about that yeah. uh, why does everyone have to be greedy I, well, actually, it was a he was an employee from EA, so of course he was greedy. I don't know, man. It's, it's at this point, you can't take it where you die. That's all I want. You can't trust anyone in this in this way, anyway. Like, how about Rusty Sawblade that dismembers on oh. every hit? I oh. hope you have an extra head, because otherwise, it's game over. On the bright side, equipping your severed face as a homemade facial accessory what? is both fashionable and attractive. Oh my god, is that Michael Myers? <laughs> this game is completely insane. I'm not sure in a good way or just a crazy way, but it's definitely insane. The amount of things he has he must have been playing He's this game for a while. Peeled like a banana, because oh. for about half the banana trees in this game, the fruit comes to them. This oh. may surprise newer players, as pressing auto-explore in the banana grove is a guaranteed single-click shortcut to being disemboweled. Have you ever wondered oh. about the struggle of living with- This is why I kind of like that the game is in pixels instead of, you know. <laughs> ...with dyslexia. If so, encounter a psychic master and his slaves, and you won't have to wonder what? anymore. And why not what say, is that? fuck it, let's add a giant magnet to the game, because stripping you of your dignity is no longer enough. We're oh, it makes him drop all of his items. <laughs> that sounds horrible. I hate auto correction. Everyone does. 
forcibly strip you of your items as well. And considering most people have auto pickup turned that on makes by sense. default, watch as your character is forced into an infinite dance of losing items, picking them up, only to Why lose them again. Why would you create an enemy like this? To death or smash escape fast enough to turn it off. You know the great pyramids of Egypt? Yeah. Imagine they could fly. Now, imagine you fused uh... it with a Sherman T-34 Calliope and expanded the rocket tubes to a hundred. Not too bad when you consider a rocket salvo is only ten. This game gets more interesting the more he talks about it, but also more insane the more he talks about it. It's like the insanity of Seth and the game kind of collide into one. <laughs> Fable's just going crazy in the corner, by the way. I am. I really am at this point, because Seth's videos confuse me. They confuse everyone. Don't worry. Unless they get you up against the wall, in which case you get slammed repeatedly until oh, they wow. empty the entire rack. And God then they damn, that sounds and annoying. Each and every high explosive missile in a single turn. At this point, why not give it an automatic force field and the ability to randomly teleport? Is this just a giant random robot weapon that someone of the old, like old civilization Rod left? Is an enemy inside caves of quood. Is it? A unique, optional boss fight? No, it is a common occurrence in the Deathlands, known Wonderful. Only as a chrome pyramid. And if you see your screen vibrating and glitching, it's a good time to leave. If that sounds, sounds overwhelming, like an Ultramarine's Terminator. You. Kinda. That's not the case, because oh. every creature in this game, from birds to trees, plants to ants, baboons to raccoons, okay. everything belongs to a specific faction, and their relation to you is dependent Dogs on Dogs favor you, cats despise you, even docile ones will attack you. Cat won't usually let you pet them. You aren't welcome in their holy places. You're not welcome in the cat's holy places fable. Oh, I didn't change the stream title, god damn it. I'll, I'll a change you a little. If you're hated, even the peaceful ones will try to rip you apart. If you're loved, even the most aggressive members will protect you as one of their own. That's this cool. applies to others as well. Chimps eat the fuck out of monkeys. And the relationship why is Joe Rogan here? Controls their behavior. Let's I don't have any opinions on him, but why is he here? <laughs> baboons into thinking you're one of their own. That doesn't mean they're not aggressive. That just means they're not aggressive to you. They hunt. Oh. They hunt monkeys. They corral them in. It's the most ruthless shit because there's a video of this chimp eating a monkey while it's alive. No. It's holding on to the monkey and biting its hips and just pulling chunks of meat while the monkey's screaming like, Aah! So, how do you influence <laughs> reputation? Reputation isn't affected by helping or killing normal people. Only okay. celebrities. Much like real life, if you kill a lot of short people, they mm. won't rise up against you. But if you kill a famous Minecraft YouTuber... You know, I can tell he's friends with Mandalore because he messes with them always, it seems like. Child, they'll start to notice. Every faction randomly generates legendary characters and interacting, bonding, or... Yomengander the giant worm, is that what I saw? I think it would do it. Would. Up murdering them will influence your reputation. Depending I mean, that, on that character. Yomengander the legendary crack. Is that what that's? It? Yeah, salty kraken. What the hell is a salty kraken? Anyway, so this game has a lot more mechanics than I ever thought would be because, well, some roguelikes don't really have nearly as much going on. personal history. For example, this is <laughs> Oh my god. Legendary baboon queen. She Oh my god. Is naturally loved by her people. However, she accidentally dug up some robot's dead grandfather, probably a TI-84 calculator. She also sold I mean... confidential banking details from one village and stole some shit from another. Quite understandably, these okay. factions don't like her, and smacking her dead with a heavy <laughs> branch would probably make a lot of people, excluding those that use shit as a projectile, incredibly happy. Now, the most precious okay. resource in Quod is water. There's oh. not much of it around. So, the act of sharing your water is one of the most culturally significant actions you can take. Your first is mine, my water is yours. Performing a water ritual will bond you together and strengthen relations. The factions that like them will like you even more, but the factions that don't will dislike you by association. How okay, so it's basically a ritual of trust. It's basically swearing loyalty to each other, in a way. Because water is a rare resource, so sharing... It's, I don't know of any other way to compare it to besides just 
like having a vowel like in front of the Pope that some old kings used to do like in front of like holy artifacts. It's something that uh, kings would have vassals do, like swear However, loyalty to sharing them. sharing water with another, only later to betray your brother, is the worst crime you can possibly commit. Ah. And the enemy of thy enemy. No one likes a traitor. No one. <laughs> because even people that you traded... No one likes a turncoat because they wonder if you'll turncoat against them. What is it, Petra? I know I didn't change the title enemy will regard you the kinslayer with open hatred as will every faction not in the game. of course you can always use a schrodinger's <laughs> page remember mm. it's not considered historical revision when you're doing it with quantum entanglement and what is quantum entanglement i have no idea what that means or what that's a concept briefly of briefly mentioned water is the most valuable commodity that's why we don't have currency water is currency we don't go by greenback or gold we go by water and what we the trade it by the dram is. one dram of water is approximately one eighth of a fluid ounce that's a very small amount of water or about 3.6 ml it is the smallest unit of trade and a water skin can hold up to 64 drams of fluid eight okay. fluid ounces or about 240 30 ml in caves of quid we drink our currency in that's, this having a currency that's edible does well actually that's just normal trade really now that i think about it it's hmm? a trading system if they had the barters it seems to be a barter system, system they would have to use coins and i mean they're using backs. water as a like do they have to measure you know what i'm probably thinking too much into this With, uh, you know, how much, with, because I feel like you have to, you would have to measure the water and like they do with coins and whatnot. Sounds like bananas in Donkey Kong games. Kinda. This world, poverty isn't begging on the streets. Poverty is dying of thirst. And so you oh. need water to live or trade. Meaning your currency is actually damn heavy and there's only so yeah, much. Yeah, water can get a lot heavier any water skins you can carry around it's an interesting system effectively forcing you to trade valuables mm. for other valuables and measure out water to even out the difference but to even earn your water you're going to have to go into the great unknown explore great unknown. and pillage your way across the world and hopefully you can come back alive it's going to be dangerous but oh. when the alternative is certain death i think i'll take my options survival is not I, easy I, but the game offers you a diverse variety Mary. I have skills to help you stay alive. Each time you level up, you get skill points, which can be freely distributed oh. to suit your character. Finding combinations that work is a matter of experimentation. For example, oh. I once made a mutant with six arms with oh. an axe in each hand. Axes oh. specialize in dismemberment, and dual welding specializes in attacking oh. simultaneously with each arm. Each turn, my abomination took off up to six limbs, including the head. And oh. believe me, everything eventually runs I, out of limbs. I top, bet, dear God. On top of that, you'll run into items you don't understand. These will oh. be described as an artifact and require successful identification to properly use. For example, okay. if your character is a complete dumbass, he has no concept of a, a folding, folding chair. chair. Instead, you'll oh see it as God. a collection of strange tubes. <laughs> Imagine just looking at a chair and not knowing what it is or what it does collection of strange tubes what do i Nick, do for what, what Nick, what is this strange thing you speak of what is a char what oh my I god you're not doing word. this doing what Nick? i don't understand your words uh, i'm gonna be dealing with this for a while now i am trying to that about the fact that's Lectero's kid. We'll watch it eventually, Petra. Just stop asking for it. Either way. 
Continue onward. Also, don't do this with stuff you don't own, because in the process of delicately smashing it to pieces, <laughs> you might unintentionally break it. And the excuse of sorry, did you, I did was he just, just break someone's water wheel? doesn't work when you're being violently murdered by a pack uh, of villagers. Oh Artifacts are amazing and offer you great flexibility, oh often augmenting or replacing abilities you don't have with their mechanized technological equivalent. These include, uh. but are not limited to, instant teleportation to any XYZ coordinate biodynamic fuel cells powered by blood handheld oh. nuclear grenades wait what even a pair of rockets handheld nu well actually no <laughs> handheld nuclear grenade. funny enough fable we do have something called the Davy Crockett which is a small nuclear device that can be used as artillery and can be manned by two soldiers oh my lordy lordy but uh, it got banned because of obvious problems, such as, see, you're outside of the blast radius, or the soldiers launching it are, right? Right. But you're not outside the radiation range of it. Oh, boy. Yeah, so uh, they couldn't really use it. Plus the fact that it was a nuclear weapon used by only two soldiers, you know. Skates designed for their intended purpose to burn down every forest in the game. Wait, Not what? only can you use them, but with a tinkering skill, you can also craft them. And provided you've got the appropriate blueprints, you can not only craft them, but also modify them to your heart's content. Ooh, and for cool. the longest time, that seemed like the limits of this game. Until I went further beyond and discovered... Seth cooking. must go for... Imagine living what? in a world where the difference between life and death is decided almost entirely by what you had for breakfast that day oh. because that's what cooking is to caves of quood when i feel like that's something in a very specific kind of video game where you're a master chef or something and hunt food everything is so mutated even consuming the mutant will give you their properties oh. and adding more mutants to the dish will increase the possibilities of your ridiculous combination for example i can oh, engineer wow. a chance to heal to full health on any tick of damage then i pour acid on my feet and what? become immortal or i can use a mental mutation to spawn a huge number of plants that explode when you step on them eat a gecko that gives me complete immunity to fire and intentionally cause a chain reaction that turns the entire map into lava. Wow. This feels like it's gonna cause a seizure warning with some of the stuff he does. I'm leaving myself untouched. Or I could ask a gigantic Where's sewer him? slug for his favorite soup recipe. Drink it and turn myself oh, wait, permanently something. into a gigantic sewer slug that wait, stores, pressurizes, and spits entire rivers of acid. So with not only can you just Modify your body to no end. Not only can you give crazy ideas, you can turn yourself into other creatures by getting soup recipes All that from knowledge. them. The only thing left is to go deeper. Many people. <laughs> I will say, this is a very interesting game. Don't know if I would play it because. I usually like my visuals to look at least a little bit better. People go into caves and they don't come back. Usually they have stupid names like Nutty Putty Cave. A man actually died there. Yeah. There was a mother out there that had to explain to her kids, yeah, your your mm. father unfortunately passed away oh in dear. a Nutty Putty Cave. Do you want that to be you? But I digress because everything I've told you. But yeah, there is actually someone that died in Nutty Putty Cave. I don't know much about it other than what someone told me that it was a... He read up on it, and it was horrifying. Up until now, has been the surface of... The, dying in a cave is probably one of the most horrifying ways, because it's very slow. As you can probably tell. Either that, or you get crushed to death instantly. There's no either way about it. Would. What does that mean? It means I've played long enough to see the game for what it really is. A series of challenges that appear impossible until you realize every problem has a solution. And so once it's a the giant puzzle, puzzle pieces click together, yeah. you'll reach that epiphany that the entire system is, by design, designed to be subverted. The sandbox hmm. wants you to break it. It wants you to achieve your goal in the most creative way possible. Let me tell you about well. the real caves of quid i always approve of a video game that lets you get creative with it don't you fable yeah caves are signs that nothing 
they're dying for, for here. Pretty mm -hmm. much, because um, some people go into caves expecting to find like gold or silver or something. Don't have time to earn. Or sometimes a cavern, so they can sell tickets to it. So we're going to print it. Welcome to the lava economy, because lava is what? extremely valuable. One dram Why? equals sixteen drams of water. Okay, great. However, we can only store it safely inside a one dram glass vial. A water skin holds sixty-four, but starts burning the moment you put it in. Previously, I could extinguish the fire caused by the lava by pouring water on it and leaving the water skin perfectly intact for me to sell the developers patched this out and uh, reduced the value of lava twice but that didn't oh, stop me instead if I they have to reduce the value twice then they're really they're really having to pull something because pull, people are pulling some shady shit with it Streamline the process. Normally, fungal colonies produce lava, which is a good source of early money and huh. parasitic infections, but their capacity is limited. We need industrial quantities. Industrial you lava. A thermal grenade and a freeze grenade. Any generation works, but a Mark Free is preferable. Next, okay. we need bananas. Either six day stilt or banana grove. Preserve it into sun dried bananas. Cook what? it. Gain psychometry. Use psychometry to read the early history of every artifact in your inventory without paying for a data disc ever again. Get oh, pink wow. rank level one so you can disassemble scrap and I'm saying oh wow a lot because this game lo is literally insane. Grenades. Go to the desert canyon. Locate a nice pocket of shale rock. Quick trivia. What's the melting point of shale rock? About a thousand degrees. Chuck hmm. herbal grenades in quick succession until it melts. Congratulations. We've just made lava. Fill as many water skins as you can hold and throw them far away. Now refrigerate them. Congratulations. You have now oh. freeze dried your lava. Head back to town. I don't think that's how lava works, but okay. Yeah, this isn't isn't super cold lava essentially just brick and uh, obsidian. Um, uh, it can turn into a lot of things, but yeah. And then buy whatever you want with the Federal Reserve forever printing lava. We Federal Reserve of lava. <laughs> have to worry about money anymore. Dear Next, God. we need to metagame harder. Liquids are important to this game. Liquids are oh. vital. Liquids also mix together and get tainted oh. in the process. Would you like it if a woman stepped in your bowl of cereal? Don't answer that. At the uh, no, still, not oh. so ever. <laughs> because people can be oh. weird, Fable. You know that. We know I, this. I know, but still no. No. <laughs> Uh, anyway, moving on from that There's point. A merchant of interest. He I sells like liquids. Sometimes. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure uh, I can't say everyone, but I at least can agree with that. liquids. He's going to be the catalyst to our success. But there's one problem. Okay. He's only one man. We need well, more. Have what is that fable? I was yawning. And oh, I just heard a loud intake of air, and I was worried for a second. at my game. Now, let's read the names together. Okay. Iker Merchant. Clone of an Iker Merchant. Clone of a clone of an Iker Merchant. You get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He seems to have cloned the Iker Merchant. Can you tell? We're going to buy his cloning solution, yeah, pour it on his tell. body, and watch him multiply. And then we're going to buy cloning solution from his clones to multiply <laughs> them as well. Why? So we can buy more cloning solution to duplicate any merchant we desire. It takes some time. But first, you have to plant your crops <laughs> before you can enjoy the harvest. Now, we're going to buy our way to immortality. How? By purchasing every file of neutron flux. And then, you're going to cook some gravity. Neutron flux wow. gives you a permanent plus one. I shouldn't be surprised balance. by any of this stuff that he's saying at this point because this game is literally insane. But I still am at some point, like cooking gravity. Uh, one in four chance of gravitational collapse. So I, I don't like those odds. Hmm? I, I just have a question. When he does these videos, does he spend hours trying to find a way to break it or does it's... he just look up random videos and, it's, and hopefully someone broke it for him? It could be a bit of both, honestly. I have no idea if he breaks it himself completely, but it does seem like he just... Tr because you know there are those style of gamers who just, like, look at a system and be like, hmm, how can I break this? Yeah, that, that's literally what I want to know. Is Does he do that, or does he look up videos and then go from there? Okay, you in the comments, tell us. I'm actually curious about this.
Odds, neither do I. Take a Sphinx Salt Injector, stab it into your arm, start cooking. If your body collapses under oh. the weight of a neutron star, go back. Because that never really happened. Because precognition is a vision of the future, not the present. And if you don't like that theoretical timeline, you go back to a divergent point in time when you first injected that cocktail. Well Walk then. Around, live life and try again. When the deterministic dice roll of RNG will give you the outcome you desire. Yes, this game has saves coming built into the mechanic. Reach immortality. Wow. Keep eating That's bananas. Something else. The potassium is good for you and good for your newfound ability to craft nearly every item in the game. Next, the one and only reason I play Trukin is to pacify mm. the Templars. Unique Templars carry okay. a very special cocktail. Unfortunately, they're extremely trigger happy and they have a tendency to inject it upon any sign of conflict. As a Trukin, apparently they fixed this and Trukin is trash to him now. I was able to read that real fast for once. I simply walk up to them and buy it for a pathetic sum of money. What is it? It's an injector filled with Eater Nectar. Injecting it gives you a permanent plus one to a random attribute, but that's oh. not good enough. We're going to preserve it and condense the nectar, and then we're oh. going to use precognition and cook it, which gives us a one in four chance of getting plus one in all of our attributes permanently. However, uh, that's never not bad in any video game. These are quite rare, and I can't... Or not, never not bad. That's never bad in any video game, getting one in every attribute no, permanently. Another. So first, I find a high-level merchant, clone them repeatedly, and buy oh. metamorphic polygel. He just loves to clone the merchants, huh? This is cloning solution for items. So now yeah, I can theoretically yeah, yeah. scale my character to an it's... infinite amount of armor. <laughs> that fucking <laughs> shirt infinite amount of attributes, and once I clone all the bookstores, an infinite amount of Schrodinger's pages that I can use to gain an infinite amount of reputation. And still, well, I get one shot by a fucking rusty saw. Remember that chrome pyramid I talked about? Previously, nobody actually knew hmm. how to deal with these, until one insane madman EMP'd the force field, charged the chrome pyramid, and, with a small flick of a blade, disarmed it. Yes, he oh. ripped off the entire swarm rack. That same swarm wow. rack can be picked up and used However, the average player can the only hold a of about wow. 300. Wow. This thing weighs 1,500. <laughs> so we modify it, reducing its total weight down to zero. But at this point, weight doesn't really matter. With the exact same method, I disarmed every other robot in the Deathlands and used them to craft spheres of negative weight, allowing us to effectively roleplay as a high-speed missile launcher. Oh dear but God! That was still. That's horrifying. <laughs> not enough. I was tired of paying for goods, so I stabbed a merchant with a love injector and oh. robbed him blind. Then I stabbed a legendary bear. So we could <laughs> stabbed a legendary bear with a... <laughs> Improve human race relations by sharing honey and the location of local beehives. I also oh. stabbed the Pope, made him follow me back to town, and watched as he started a race <laughs> riot because his reputation with the unwashed masses was not very high. In what the hell, Seth? He basically got the tech. I don't understand. I at least understand somewhat. There was a comment last time of people like, why don't you understand some of what Seth is doing? I'm like, because the games he plays sometimes are completely insane, and Seth is almost as insane as these games sometimes. Sometimes. Ugh. How am I supposed to understand insanity? I have my. Okay, you're cutting out, Fable. I don't know why. I don't understand what you don't understand. I don't want to understand someone else's insanity. You're welcome. I don't understand my own insanity. Anyway, uh, off we go. Instead, I wanted companions that don't murder everyone, <laughs> so I sprayed sentience on a block of concrete and convinced the block of animated concrete to follow me into combat. I found out concrete wow. is not only indestructible, it can also hold weaponry in its hands. What? Unfortunately, my companion died when I foolishly tried to slam through concrete using concrete. I broke a concrete wall. I lost a concrete friend. But How do you feel I when you lose a concrete friend, Fable? There's a, it's not a cat, that's my, I'm sorry, guys, that's my old dog, and she just acts like that, there's really nothing I can do. I'm sorry if anyone on the video hears that. She's very old and blind, uh, she's on her last leg, so we just try to make it comfortable for her. I said, even holds a cat. Compared to being is that? A high level I don't know his Here's name. Some examples of what you can do. Surround. 
Mm. Yourself I don't know if it's actually him, so I won't use say anything. instant transmission, turn walls into lava, turn brains into liquid using your mind from oh. the other side of a map with clairvoyance. Dominate every merchant to give you their life savings. Dominate a domesticated pig. Put a nuclear warhead in its mouth. It just seemed to become a super Jedi. And turn it into a remote or controlled a suicide bomber. Split yourself into seven identical copies with or identical a super powers wizard. and turn the screen into a living nightmare. Use ego projection. Project your HP so high it doesn't even render in the UI. Wait, Die what? Anyway, reverse the outcome with precognition. Follow one of the billion divergent timelines instead. Tap the mass mind. Pluck sentience from the universe. Wait, what? What did that just say? Plucks. Tap the mass mind. The mass mind. You introvert your mind as someone else's expense. What? from the universe Whatever. reset your cooldowns and do it all over again as you can probably tell it was so damn powerful that the developers had to code in their own countermeasures now i mean more that powerful makes sense you are the more others start to notice your psychic glibber increases and other espers will come to take your mind what does the word esper actually mean because i've heard that in like an anime but i've never know what that means i'll probably look it up later but uh Anyone in the comments, if you're hearing this, just tell me what they... It, I guess psychic, sh psychic shit, I guess. Like controlling f or making fire with your mind. For their own. The attacks become so brutal. The burden of power so Listen, great. you should never give me the power to set things on fire with my mind. That you it's might it's a bad thing for everyone. Be tempted in your moment of weakness to eat a fuck ton of humble pies because in this game the bakeries are owned by Nietzsche and his what? pastries induce ego death. But the player will forever subvert the developer. Do you know how to end the pursuit to stop the hunt to escape? You have to accept first that there is no escape and allow yourself to be caught. And in the briefest of moments, you dominate your pursuer. You take control of uh, no longer of the. I can fail. And kill yourself. Your old flesh oh. is gone. But inside new flesh, your mind lives on. This game is truly wow. exceptional, but it does have its problems. One, it's made on Unity. That's not immediately noticeable. But when a small cloud of gas accidentally falls down a pipe and has to generate 10 levels of dungeon for the sake of simulation, yeah. Wow. 10 levels. Was saying this fine when the whole room is on fire to a mech just lighting a candle. What, Fable? <laughs> You're that one so dog. True. You're gonna notice. Two, yes. sometimes an essential quest NPC contracts a fungal infection and is regrettably chopped to pieces. Sometimes the sandbox breaks and you lose your progress. The game oh, practically dear expects you to use console commands to fix itself, so don't feel too bad about it. Three, most of the game is randomly generated, but you can tell immediately if a character is pre-written because ah. the first Tumblr fursona you meet will <laughs> give you an option to ask about her neon purple hair and quirky way of talking. I like the writing in this game but come on disliked by the water barons for her queer appearance really maybe she just looks like shit Listen, <laughs> I like that he says that <laughs> so this game can soft lock like so because it's unity also because uh when you're generating so many things you kind of if you're having a main quest you kind of have to make all those npcs not killable because if they are you will suck soft lock yourself Also, I found something I'll show Fable later. I can respect the fact that you can self-insert your OC girlfriend, but at least give us the option of dismembering her. And <laughs> four, I want more. There's not enough of this world, and you're spending too much of your time banning me off your Discord for making reasonable <laughs> gameplay suggestions. Initially, I dismissed this game as overly oh simplistic. God. I come back now to tell you how deep it goes. Oh, Even with Lord. a time what given, I've only told you a fraction. Yeah, apparently, it looks like he constantly, d uh, not DM'd, but, uh, like quote tweeted them or I don't know 
I can't remember the word. Yeah. Of what I know. Notified it them specifically. Should be noted that the writing in this game is fantastic. There's so much lore, like how the banana ranchers in this game are plants themselves. It's uh. plants enslaving plants. Oh. It's plantation owners beating other plantation owners. They just work up the hierarchy. It's like my slave name used to be whipped cream. Now what I'm whipping hell? cream. The music in what this the game hell? is very charming and sets the tone that you're in a completely alien environment where nearly every rock tree and flower is very much alive it's a beautiful wonderful and janky game. and despite being an early actor, okay that actually it's scared given me, me hello shamanic of hours of enjoyment as such i give it a completely random yet quantifiably high score which can only be expressed on a graphical calculator what the hell? How did you do it on a graphical count? It's not okay. for everyone, and it's incredibly neurotic. But if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, give it a try. We negotiated a deal, however small, for about I, 10 I do off. like that uh, most of these games that Seth is able to play, he does give, like, discounts, or at least tries to get discounts for them. Him and Mandalore do this, I think. For the next couple of Which days is very on nice. GOG. Or at least tells everyone how to get them, because some of the games they play are... You know, not available. And you save a single dollar. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. That content will consist of more than four pixels. A warm thanks to the many members of the Merchants Guild, generously Doi. funding door and fortress bankrolling these to videos. Door fortress. Except this one is completely free because oh, I can't a five day you money for abstract text adventures. You're all truly wonderful. Take care and have a good one. So, what did you think of that, Fable? I'm so confused and wondering if he actually did a bit or he went to the actual server and got kicked out because he met him. Oh, and uh, Shamak says, Fable! Hi, Shamak. How are you, bud? But yeah, uh, guys. I'm gonna sleep so well, unfortunately, guys, Fable, uh, he still doesn't understand what Seth does, but either way. We'll see you all later. I never understand what he does. Anyway, thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.